Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am, I think this is a separate class for C section. Ma'am, mm -hmm. because there were all of C section except one. Mm. You are right. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good morning, ma'am. Good, Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Bye. Only one minute, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. 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 Good afternoon, Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon. Ma'am, last answer was left. Ah, last answer is left. Only the last question. Right? That's all we have done. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, one more question is left. Which question, Kavil? Ma'am, question three. Question number ma three. Ma'am, the diagram question. No, the Ma'am, uh, ma good afternoon, ma'am. Of three part question number three, 800 words. Three part? I was telling the answer. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Peter. Fine. Ready with your books? How are you, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma ready. Good, good, Paridi. Good. Ma'am, ready with books. Ready with the books? Okay. Ma'am, ready with books. Give, give an account yes, of the different types of rainfall. Ma'am, I was telling. Uh, fine. You can carry on with your answer then. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, the answer is on uh, page 132. Yes. Uh, from... Uh, first, uh, in, in the second paragraph from rainfall, we have to see from one, two, three, four, five. Ma'am, in the sixth line, we have to see uh, it is written there are three types of rainfall convectional, relief, and cyclonic, uh, cyclonic rainfall. But we can now, also define, wait, Prakash, we can define rainfall also, no? The way it is given here. We can yes, define that part. Okay. So you include that also. Okay. I'm going there would be more long answer. Yes, Kave. Hanji. Yes, Prakash, um, continue uh, with the rain part also including. Okay, okay, ma'am. So uh, we have to write from the second paragraph rainfall. When the condensed uh, water vapor in the clouds fall down in form of water drops, it is known as uh, rain. Then we have to start from the sixth line. There are three types of rainfall, convectional, relief, and cyclonic rainfall. Very good. Then convectional rainfall. During the day when air comes in contact with the hot surface of the earth, it gets heated, become light, and rises up. On reaching the upper layers of the atmosphere, it cools down. The water vapor, it, it condenses, and rainfall occurs. Uh, Ma'am, till here we have to write. And then we have to uh, define relief rainfall. The uh, relief rainfall, this type of rainfall is also known as orographic rainfall. It occurs when a range of mountains or hills lies in the path of moisture bearing wind. The warm moist air is forced to rise when it meets an obstruction 
as the air moves upwards it start cooling the water vapor in it condenses and the rainfall occurs so uh, till here we have to write and then cyclonic rainfall in cyclone when winds from all sides blow towards the center different air masses meet uh, when warm air meet cold air the warm air being lighter rises up above the cold air the rising warm air cools and condensation take place causing rainfall mam till here we have to write okay very good and all the three diagrams you have to draw along with the explanation that you are doing i hope i am clear okay ma'am right yes ma'am ma ma section ma rainfall uh, orographic or relief rainfall and of cyclonic rainfall beta all the three cyclonic orographic and convectional all the three diagrams you will be drawing when you are explaining all the three okay, rainfalls right okay ma'am can we explain in our own words how will you explain in your own words tell me the excuse me ma'am can you tell it again i am telling hamad wait a second daksh in your your own words how will you write please tell ma'am i cannot tell but i can write nahi you, you will not write in your own language because this is about a particular concept right so you need to write what is given in the book and what i am telling you i am repeating this answer again thank you prakash very good now uh, page 132 left hand side second paragraph rainfall you will write when the condensed water vapor in the clouds falls down in the form of water drops it is known as rain fine then change the line last three lines of the same paragraph there are three types of rainfall convectional relief and cyclonic then change the line convectional rainfall you will write last three lines you will write first it occurs throughout the year in the equatorial region where it is also called the four o'clock rain then change the paragraph change the line oh, no, 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 just we have to write this no 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 let me let me finish let me finish let me finish these three lines you will write as the introductory lines right then you will change your line then you will write in convectional rainfall during the day when air comes in contact with the hot surface of the earth it gets heated becomes light and rises up on reaching the upper layers of the atmosphere it cools down beta page 132 it cools down thank you ma'am full stop the water vapor in it condenses and rainfall occurs full stop रेनफॉल एम आई क्लियर Ma'am, we can write in yeah, points yeah. also. But uh, the way I have told, please for this answer, you will follow my guidelines. Am I clear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Fine. Yes, ma'am. Then after you are done with this writing part on the plain side, you will be drawing this diagram which is given on the right hand side as convectional rainfall, with all the labeling that is done. Right. What what is for relief rainfall? Wait up, patience, Kavya, patience. Then come to the relief rainfall. You will write this type of rainfall. Mama, I have doubt. Beta, doubt. One minute. Sarthak, look at doubt. Le le. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, uh, in about rainfall, the... what we have to write? Ma'am, just rainfall. You will write relief rainfall. No. What you are asking, Sir? Sir, me is asking what? Sir, what we have to write in rainfall. rainfall? We have to write from uh, when the condensed Achha. water vapor uh, uh, in clouds fall down in the form of water drops. It is known as rain. 
and after that you can write the last three lines same paragraph last three lines okay sarthak okay ma'am now come to the relief rainfall <clears throat> this type of rainfall is also known as orographic rainfall change the line it occurs when a range of mountains or hills lies in the path of moisture bearing winds the warm moist air is forced to rise when it meets an obstruction as the air moves upwards it starts cooling the water vapor in its in it condenses and rainfall occurs full stop change the line the monsoon rainfall in india is an example of relief rainfall last two lines the monsoon rainfall in india is an example of relief rainfall and then followed by the diagram which is shown here am i clear ma'am may you repeat the first point of relief rainfall yes first point is relief rainfall you will write as heading and then you will write this type of rainfall is also known as orographic rainfall point over change the line or change the paragraph okay then whole thing till occurs then the last two lines the monsoon rainfall is okay, in ma'am. india is an example of relief rainfall followed by the diagram that you have fine am Thank i you, clear ma'am. am i clear yes ma'am then come to the cyclonic yes, rainfall ma'am. you will write the last two lines first this type of rainfall is common in the tropical seas and in the mid latitudes then change the line in a cyclone when winds from all sides blow towards the center different air masses meet when warm air meets cold air the warm air being lighter rises above the cold air the rising warm air cools and condensation takes place causing rainfall right okay ma'am ma'am completed only two points are there for this and followed by the diagram Sara, can you take the screenshot and send it to me? Ma'am, actually, I'm taking class classes with my phone. So, ma'am, can I? I have many. So, ma'am, can I? Ha ha, you can. No issues. You can uh, take. Ma'am, because screenshot. my tab got switched off. No, no, it's fine. It is okay, beta. I'm just sending. Ma'am. Yes, Taj. Ma'am, now the chapter is complete. Ah. completed our syllabus also beta ek cheez ab ab hum aapse general knowledge ki cheez puchhenge from the chapter only there is a question think and answer h part yes ma'am right let me see how much you have understood this chapter and what do you know about the locations and you know uh, distance that we have discussed in this chapter you know, weather and climate whatever elements we have read about so i am giving you 5 2 minutes to read the question and think fine okay ma'am ha ah. and three these three questions of h part ah. yes Ma'am, what is the meaning of moderate? Moderate means neither cold nor hot. Ma'am, can I tell? Not very, neither hot nor very cold. Okay, ma'am. Right. Ma'am, can I tell the first answer of thing? Wait, beta, wait. Patience, patience. Kave will tell the second one. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, Kochi is in Kanpur. Kochi is in Madras. No, sorry, Kerala. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It is in Kerala. Kochi is located in south. Where is Kanpur? Is located in north. Yes, Kanpur is in UP. Kochi is in Kerala. Right? I'm Kerala. Means, ma'am, south and north. Why they are asking? Why is the weather different? The weather is different. 
Mom, I have sent with my, my mother's number. Okay, beta. I'll check. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mom, I'm just making my answer ready. Mom, may I tell the first one? Sara, one more, one more uh, part is there. There are two, two this thing, no? Mom, I think some, some got disconnected, so that's why. Mom, Sanya has joined now only. No, no. Mom, the yes, sending. Mom, because I'm the... Mom, have you received that? Yes, I have, I have received. Thank you, Vita. Thank you. Ma'am, can I tell the first answer? Ma'am, can I tell the first answer, please, ma'am? Vita, wait, wait. Okay. Uh, Zehra, if you could tell the first answer. Yes, ma'am. Ah. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, in Kanpur, summers are very hot. As we can see that it falls on the equator. Oh, no. Ma'am, can I tell the answer? Ma'am, can wait, I tell the answer? Vita, wait, Daksh. Nobody will say, ma'am, can I tell, can I tell? I, I will tell who will tell Excuse this answer. Me, ma yes, Vita. Ma'am, like, uh, ma we have to tell the answer of think and answer. Yes, yes. We will discuss because the chapter is whatever we have, uh, you know, uh, read in the chapter, whatever we have learned in, from the chapter, you need to imply that knowledge over here for these questions. Okay. So, um, Zehra, uh, can you repeat your answer, Vita? <coughs> Um, I said that in Kanpur, summers are very hot because uh, we can say that it falls directly or uh, some on the equator. As well. No, it is saying that summers are very hot, winters are very cold, right? Whereas it says Kochi, the summers and the winters, both are moderate. They are not very hot, not very cold. So why this difference is there in the temperatures of Kanpur just like and Kochi? Okay, wait. Can we have uh, Paridhi Sharma telling this answer? Okay, can we have Sarthak telling this answer? Okay, ma'am. Yes, what is the amount of isolation? First one, Peter, first. Sarthak, first one. First one. Okay, ma'am. In Kanpur, summers are very hot and winters are very cold. Why? Kochi experiences mod moderate summers and winters. Why? Map because in uh, because in Ka because uh, Kochi, ma'am, Kochi is in Kerala and Kerala is in coastal areas. Ma uh, there are more. Yes, yes. Ma'am, there are many sea breeze also. Okay. Ma'am, there are many water bodies, ma'am, uh, which affects the uh, which affects the climate. Which temperature of the, the climate. Uh, temperature of ma the ma'am, that's why temperature of the climate, ma'am. So that is why Koji uh, experiences moderate summer and winters. Very good. Whereas, uh, and what about Kanpur? Why Kanpur is so cold and why it is very hot in summers and why cold in winters? Ma'am, because uh, in Kanpur, ma'am, there, ma'am, there are not, uh, there are not many ma'am water bodies. Because Kanpur, okay. Can we have Prakash telling this first part of the answer? Thank you, Sartak. Very good, beta. Ma'am, because Kanpur is not located. Um, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, because Kanpur is not located near coastal areas, so ma'am, sea breeze and land breeze there cannot be uh, ha cannot happen because okay. of this. The land gets heated up and it uh, not gets the cold air. Or you can simply say because of the distance from the sea, Kanpur experiences extremes of cold and summer. Right. Because Kanpur, if you see Kanpur, near Kanpur, there is no water body. Kanpur is away from the sea, right? Whereas uh, Kochi is a place which is located in the coastal region. That is why Kochi 
does not experience does not uh, experience extremes of uh, temperature whereas because kanpur is away from the sea that is why extremes of winter and cold conditions are experienced in kanpur right prakash and ma'am it is located in north yes ma'am north also so that's why ha huh. it is it is not closer it see in this north and south has nothing to do it is just that the distance from the sea right for this answer you will consider the fact distance from the sea right it is given over oh, here hello. also no factors excuse me ma'am yes beta oh, could you please repeat the answer see I the answer okay i will not repeat there are many those who will tell this answer kave can you repeat the answer yes ma'am i can repeat the answer yes, but in kanpur summers are very hot and winters are very cold while kochi experience moderate summers and moderate winters because kochi is near the sea near the arabian sea because of so because of it it can experience land breeze and sea breeze which makes the temperature moderate there while kochi experience while kanpur experience very hot and very hot and very cold winters because there is a much distance from any water body of kanpur okay, thank yes. you yes is it clear can we have arsha yes, repeat can we have arsha repeating the same Ma'am, can I repeat? Ma'am, yes, yes. Uh, Webber, you can do that. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, Kochi is uh, Kochi experience. Oh, in Kanpur, summers are very hot and winters are very cold. While Kochi experiences moderate summers and winters because Kochi is near the coastal areas and the wind coming from the coastal wind coming from the Arabian Sea regulates the temperature of Kochi. And while Kanpur is in the center of India, in the is in the center of India, and there is no water body to regulate its temperature, uh, so that's why it receives re uh, receives some uh, uh, extreme summers and extreme cold. Uh, cold. Very, very good, very good, very good. Okay, coming to the next question. Why is the amount of insulation received by the equatorial regions greater than that of that received by the polar regions? Who will tell? Prakash will tell. Okay, yes, can you have? Acha, wait, Prakash. Wait, wait, Prakash. Sara, tell the answer, beta. Okay, ma'am. Why hmm. uh, the amount of insulation received by equatorial regions greater than the received by polar region because our Earth is round and the sun rays that uh, uh, that the sun rays directly goes in the equator and uh, while we are ta uh, talking about uh, polar regions so the sun rays are very slanting so that's why the insulation uh, are the sun the sun rays are very less okay anybody else? very good sara very good anybody else for the same answer okay. yes prakash Yes, ma'am. The amount of insulation received by the equatorial region greater than the received greater than the polar regions because the uh, equatorial regions get the direct rays of the sun. Gets the direct rays of the sun, and the polar regions get the slanting rays because of which the uh, heat uh, the ray uh, the heat is much less as compared to the uh, equatorial region region thank you can i also repeat yes kavit yes please thank you prakash very yes, good ma'am the amount and of isolation received by the equatorial it is region insulation. Is insulation 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 received by the equatorial regions greater then the received by the polar regions because equatorial regions are the are at the center of are at the middle of the earth and they receive straight sunlight sunlight from the sun whereas 
in the polar regions polar regions receive a slant a slant sun rays from the sun because they are much far from the middle of the earth fine okay anybody anybody else who wants to repeat this answer suksej ma'am can i ma'am can i okay uh, hania what is answer correct yes uh, uh, kavi your answer is correct beta okay let me let me repeat this answer for you see we all know that the distance of the place always matter so the equator and the regions which are near it they receive the vertical rays of the sun or the direct rays of the sun sun and as we move away from the equator towards the poles due to the curvature of the earth the sun's rays they become more and more slanting therefore the places near equator have high temperature and the temperature goes on decreasing from the equator towards the poles तो इंसुलेशन भी यही रीजन है ठीक है बिकॉज डायरेक्ट रेज नहीं पड़ती है तो इस वजह से इंसुलेशन का जो परसेंटेज है वो काफी लेस रह जाता है आई होप आई एम क्लियर यस मैम नाउ द थर्ड क्वेश्चन व्हाई डज हाई टेम्परेचर रिजल्ट इन हाई ह्यूमिडिटी यस आन्या मैम कैन आई ट्राई यस यू कैन ओके मैम high temperature result in high humidity high humidity because when air temperature approaches uh, uh, when the air temperature is uh, what ma'am as ma'am ma'am means means as air temperature increases air can hold more water molecules so that's why it relate uh, it is related with humidity decreases okay anybody else for yes uh, hasan hasan tell beta hasan or rehman yes ma'am ma'am due to high, high temperature uh, the uh, ma'am due to high temperature the water evaporates much faster and it increases the amount of water vapor in the air and thus it increases amount of humidity also in the air very good very good okay okay prakash prakash can i read also then yes ma'am wait wait high temperature yes ma'am ma'am high temperature result in high humidity as it heats up the water bodies resulting in the change form of water that is water vapor which uh, which uh, increases the amount of uh, humidity in the air very good okay can we have utkarsh sharma telling the answer yes. utkarsh sharma wait wait उत्कर्ष यस उत्कर्ष का आंसर बताओ जो अभी बताया प्रकर्ष ने बेटा बताओ उत्कर्ष ओके अर्शिया विल रिपीट दिस आंसर Ma'am, you said thinking. But I am asking you if you could tell me the third answer of think and answer. No. No. Mom, can I do? Okay, wait. See, whatever you people said, it is all correct. But let us make it very short and crispy, in the sense that we can simply write that because of the high temperature, the evaporation process or the evaporation percentage increases. That is why the humidity becomes high. Right? Because of high temperature. evaporation process becomes faster that which increases the humidity level in the atmosphere clear ma'am my answer was the same exactly i was uh, confirmed that you will give a very short answer but i thought of not wasting much of time now i hope all the answers are clear now yes ma'am yes ma'am 
why think an answer is important why it is necessary to discuss these answers because it tells us that how much we have understood the chapter right i hope this chapter is all clear and understood to every one of you yes ma'am very good yes ma'am fine see if you will understand these concepts later on in your higher classes you will not face any problem because in higher classes these basic concepts are not being taught again they don't teach you these concepts again right they already assume that you are already aware of these facts and then they proceed on from what you have during mm, your... i have a doubt in this chapter yes sara please ask mam can you explain the leeward side mam of relief in for okay leeward side is that side which is opposite to the windward side like uh your right and left hands they are totally opposite right so, so assuming that your right hand right hand is your windward side and your left hand is the leeward side so windward side is that side which receives rainfall right and because the because of the mountain because of the head that you have your head is in the center of your left and right hands right Yes, so your your head acts as a barrier when the moisture bearing winds want to you know go up because of your head the mountain range that falls in the path of this mountain uh, moisture bearing wind it does not allow it to move ahead and the hand which is on the opposite side of your uh, windward side that does not receive any kind of rainfall very less or very very less rainfall is received on the leeward side right yes ma'am i have a doubt yes beta please ask ma'am can you please explain uh, absolute humidity and relative humidity okay anybody in the class who would explain this absolute and relative beta isme dekho ek chota yes sara sara please try yes ma'am the humidities are of two types absolute hum humidity and relative humidity absolute humidity is the actual amount of water vapor given volume of air at the given temperature that means that uh, that we can measure this in grams of cube and that uh, relative humidity it is a ratio between the actual amount of water present in the air given volume of air at given temperature and maximum amount of water vapor which is same volume of the air can hold at the temperature that means jo relative humidity hoti hai wo water vapor mein present hoti hai wo air ko ek volume deti hai temperature ke liye and the maximum amount of water vapor uh, which is same volume of air can hold at that temperature mam dal fine 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 thank you ma'am in, in simple words yes daksh ma'am now we will do na new chapter from next are daksh please don't be diverted ruko abhi 2 minute okay uh, webhav yes ma'am beta in very simple words uh, absolute humidity ka matlab hota hai actual amount of water vapor present in the air theek hai theek hai okay ma'am और रिलेटिव okay. का मतलब होता है रिलेटिव का मतलब होता है रेशो बिटवीन द एक्चुअल अमाउंट एंड द गिवन वॉल्यूम ऑफ एयर एट अ गिवन टेम्परेचर एक एक पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर पे हवा में कितना मॉइस्चर है वो आपका रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी होता है और एब्सोल्यूट ह्यूमिडिटी का मतलब बिना किसी जोड़ तोड़ के ठीक है बिना किसी कैलकुलेशन के जो एक्चुअल अमाउंट ऑफ ह्यूमिडिटी है इन द एयर और द वॉटर वेपर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट क्लियर ओके मैम ठीक है ठीक है यस मैम चलिए एनी अदर डाउट बेटा एब्सोल्यूट जो होती है वो एक्चुअल में होती है और ग्राम्स में उसको हम प्रेजेंट करते हैं और आपकी रिलेटिव जो है वो परसेंटेज में रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं उसको ठीक है वो परसेंटेज होती है रिलेटिव का मतलब परसेंटेज में जब आप उसको शो करते हो ठीक है ओके 
चलिए एनी अदर डाउट एनी बडी हैज नो मैम हाँ दक्ष नाउ योर क्वेश्चन वी विल स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू चैप्टर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास यस काव्य यू कैन आस्क यस काव्य यस बेटा Mom, could you please explain me go global distribution of temperature? Global distribution of temperature. What is yes, global? Sir. You know? Yes, I'm worldwide. Ha, huh. worldwide. We all know that the whole of the Earth is divided into three zones, heat zones, three heat zones. One zone One is which is. Yes, this is only the global distribution. Like how we decide that which areas are cold, which area are which areas have moderate temperature, which areas are very hot by looking at the position of that place on the globe by calculating the latitudinal and the longitudinal distance. Sorry, by calculating the latitudinal distance, latitudinal distance from the equator. Right? Right, Kavya? No. Yes. Anybody else? Sara, all clear and understood? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Next week, Jasmine, are you there? Please just say that precipitation is the rainfall only. Yes, precipitation is the rainfall only. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are you saying something? No, I was. Ha. Huh? नहीं, not to Daksh, I think I was uh, saying this to Jasmine. Mommy, you are saying to Jasmine. Jasmine, are you there, beta? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, beta, is the chapter clear and understood to you? Ma'am, I think she is facing some network issues. Ah, yes, yes, Sarthak, you are right. See class sixth, seventh, and eighth. These are the base of ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. Especially ninth, tenth, because whatever you learn in class six, seventh, eighth, it is repeated there in a very detailed form. You must be aware, yes, right? So whatever you study in class six, seventh, eighth, you need to be completely focused when you are learning the concepts, because without understanding these concepts, it becomes very difficult when you are solving the maths problems. You need to understand yes, the formulas. You need to understand. Man, basic. Yes, you need to understand the basics. Without basics, it becomes very difficult, right? Man, man, this totally in other subjects, science and socials. In fact, in science and social, also whatever you are reading in class six, seven, eight, they, they that all will be repeated there, but in a detailed form. Ma'am, but in another language. Ha, huh. of course, the language becomes a little complicated. No, बहुत simple तो नहीं रहेगी six seven के comparison में थोड़ा सा difficult हो जाता है. ठीक है? Yes, Weber, it is actually the base for the competitive exams. आपका जो ये middle class ये जो वाला जो six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve होता है, ये जो आपकी six classes होती हैं, they are very important classes. ठीक है? आप class five तक आप केवल basics पढ़ते हो. प्राइमरी लेवल का पार्ट पढ़ते हो उसके बाद जो भी आपने प्राइमरी लेवल में पढ़ा होता है उसकी डिटेलिंग सिक्स सेवेंथ में आती है और फर्दर सिक्स सेवेंथ एट में जो आपने पढ़ा होता है उसकी डिटेलिंग आपकी नाइन्थ टेंथ इलेवन ट्वेल्थ में आती है ठीक है सो यू नीड टू बी केयरफुल वॉट एवर इज बींग टॉट गो थ्रू इट अगेन इफ नॉट अंडरस्टूड आस्क अगेन राइट राइट क्लास ओके ओनली लेस देन वन मिनट इज लेफ्ट so uh, see you all in the next class next week with a new chapter right and try to try to complete your work nobody will be asking work in the class group everyone is attending the class try to do things on your own remember but in 7th day the children are ha go through the recording go through the recording which are there okay okay chaliye thank you so much for the class bye ma'am bye ma'am bye ma'am bye ma'am Bye, beta. Take care. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye ma'am. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye, bye, ma'am. Good people also, beta. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye, children. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bacha. Take care.